Hello, how are you all doing? Welcome to this InLight tutorial. In this InLight tutorial, we are going to do the sunglasses reflection effect. It's a really cool tutorial. I really enjoy sort of making this effect and applying it to different objects as well. So it's not just sunglasses that you can apply it to. Um, just think of the things that you could apply a reflection to any sort of mirrored surface or not mirrored surface to. Um, but it, yeah, it's really cool. It's an advanced tutorial, or I would say intermediate to advanced, but um, I'll, I'll try and make it as easy as possible for you. So let's get on and do it. Obviously, you pick an image that you want to choose. I've just chosen these two free stock images, um, just purely to show you that it can sort of be done with, with any images, really. So you get the, um, the, the sunglasses um, image firstly, or the reflection image firstly. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna tap the screen to get my toolbar on the side pop up. Let's close those filters down. Go to image, I'm gonna to go to adjust. The first thing I'm gonna to go to in the adjust is the tools and then basic. I'm then going to select offset and when you select something it turns blue as you know. And I'm going to um, make the offset minus 100 by just sliding my finger across the screen like so once that's done i'm going to select mask and then i'm going to select clear and this will clear the effect that we've just applied so it will clear the black effect that we've just applied and you'll notice right away the apply button um, is colored blue so it's selected so all i'm going to do is then apply by stroking my finger over the screen like so and i'm going to leave it zoomed out for now um, and you can apply the color that you've just removed now what that was just a purely a demonstration just to go around and you just color over what it is that you want that you have just um, cleared so i'm just going to select clear again and this time when i apply i'm just going to apply that effect um, to the lens the only reason i did the last, um, showed you the last sort of way that I did it was just to emphasize what I'm doing. So I've just zoomed in, pinched and squeezed the screen and zoomed in and then all I'm going to do is just apply that effect with my finger swipe um, to the um, actual lens of the glasses. By coloring in, obviously as you go to the edges you're gonna need to be a little bit more careful and if you do get to the edge um, and you notice I've got the the effect on the um, on the actual rim of the glasses there. Not to worry, I will remove that. I'll show you how to in a minute. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more to do the um, more delicate areas of this image. And if I have got parts like this that I want to remove, I select the wipe, zoom into where it is, select the wipe, and just remove that effect from where I've just applied it to. So I'm just going to move across select wipe and remove what I've just done to that image. So then I'm gonna go over to the other lens. You notice that I went off the screen a little bit there with my finger. So I'm just gonna click the little back button here to undo the last two effects. Then I'm gonna look at the other lens and do exactly the same to the other side with my finger. Just wipe around the other side. When I get to the center, I can speed up a little bit make it a little bit quicker. And again, when I get to the intricate parts, I'm just gonna zoom in. So I could do these areas like so. It doesn't matter if you go over the edges too much. If, if it's a real um, big part of the edge that you've gone over, you can either undo like I showed you before, we can zoom in a little bit more, select the white button, and just wipe away the parts you don't want. Like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see, if I zoom in, it's not exactly perfect, but it is somewhere. Let me just tidy this bit up a little bit. It does at least look like the lens, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna click the flatten. The flatten is this little button down the right hand side. I'm gonna click the flatten on that because I want to stay within the same sort of tools area. Um, so I'm, I can do that by just clicking the flatten button, not the apply in the top right hand side. So I'm gonna go back to tools. I'm gonna to go to basic. 
offset is already selected from last time so make sure your offset is blue and it is selected and this time i'm going to turn the effect swipe my finger over to the right hand side so my offset effect is plus 100. i'm going to select mask select clear and this time what i want to do is um, apply that white offset effect to the remainder of the image so i'm going to leave it zoomed out so i can do big chunky swipes like so i'm just coloring in with my finger being careful not to go onto the lens of the image and again i am being quite um quite random or quite um careless with the big swipes but then when i when i need to be careful i'm zooming in a little bit more and just coloring in the areas and including the lens or sorry including the rim of the um, of the glasses because all i want left is just the lens of the glasses i'm just going to keep coloring in zoom out and in as i see fit and i'm getting to the lens be a bit a little bit more careful so i'm zooming in a little bit more Go around the lens, make sure I'm happy. It is a little bit time consuming, but don't worry too much about it because we're rewarded, I promise you, with a great effect at the end and just with a little bit of creativeness from yourselves, you can um, sort of achieve a great great effects great images with this this um, applying these effects that I'm showing you or applying these techniques that I'm showing you should I say just zoom in a little bit more just make sure I'm happy with all of the areas or oh, went over a little bit there so I can go wipe and just wipe that area off See, there's an area here not covered. Okay, once I'm happy that I've got all of this, see, I want to wipe this part here. So I'm happy that I've got my two lenses and they're just black like so. I'm going to click the little tick button in the top right hand side. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this image out with this button here at the top and then just save that photo don't worry about it we've got that photo so we can revert back now because we've saved it see in the bottom left down here on the screen so we can revert by clicking our back button back to the image that we originally started with now what we want to do is we want to select this image that we created with the two lenses the two um the two black lenses and then i'm going to tap the screen to get my toolbar up close down that image go to tools mixer and select my second image i'm then going to resize by pinching and squeezing the image to a size that i'm happy with and then i'm going to go to tools blending scroll across to the right hand side and select the lighten then i want to just if with the lighten selected select tools again and just re um, move that image to where um to, to somewhere i'm happy with it so resize you can resize like so or you could just move the image around all i'm doing is pinching and squeezing to resize and then moving the image around with my finger so i want in the lens that you can actually see the phrase keep running with obviously the person in you can actually make it out what it is and you can see that quite easily um like so i'm going to go to strength so just select the strength and make sure it's up to 100 like so once i'm happy with that I'm gonna click the little tick button to say yes I'm happy with that and then I'm gonna go back to my glasses image so my original image like so I'm gonna tap the button to open up my um, sidebar keep the tools open go to mixer once again and then select the image that we just created with the glasses and the keep running behind it so now what we want to do is we want to pinch and squeeze this image until it snaps you see it snapped into place to say that it's exactly the same size as the image below it watch snap into place 
to say that it's exactly the same size as the image below it then all you have to do is move it to the left or the right there are actually lines on the screen um, to say that it's um, centered up but you can't see the lines because there's a white background so once we're happy with the position we're gonna go to tools blending and then we're gonna go up here to lighten and this is what you would normally do you would normally go to lighten like so um, and then you would turn down sliding my finger the effect so we get lighten like this if it if you immediately you don't see the um, see the sunglasses don't worry too much about it because you notice on the light and it's on 100 which is going to turn down the effect so we can see to to around depending on the image I would say so you could just see the background of what of the original image that you created um, I'm gonna select um, this plus lighter because I like this effect but I'm not gonna select it yet because if I select the plus lighter I have to turn down the effect <clears throat> to see the background image because it's plus lighter so I'm just gonna select the light and, and turn it down to around 50 don't worry too much about it because we can change this in a minute I'll show you let's go to tools and let's go to the erase button now all I'm gonna do is erase the outside of the lighten effect and all I'm doing is swiping with my finger and again if we need to get closer I'm gonna zoom in and um, I'm gonna erase it around the rim of the sunglasses as well and all I'm not doing is touching the main um, reflection or reflective part of the image which is the lens of the glasses so I'm just gonna round the side you notice that didn't take too long at all make sure that we're happy and we've got rid of all of the light and effect then I can go back to blending and I can turn that effect up if I want to and I'll see where I've missed and I've missed here so I'm gonna go to tools again um, go back on that so it moves it back go to raise and then just remove these edges like so that I've missed then go back to blending and then change the um, the blending mode you can even go to the screen or the plus darker which I wouldn't suggest color burn you could go to that but I like this plus lighter because I just think it, it gives a, 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 a sort of an, a nicer reflection and especially I'm gonna add a filter to this in a minute so um, so and I'll show you exactly what I mean once I've added the filter to it so once I'm happy with the effect that I've chosen and the intensity of the effect that I've chosen I'm gonna click the little plus button or the little tick button in the top right hand side I'm then gonna go to filters I'm gonna go to duo and now just with this image this works nicely because it's a nice summary image so you might have to look for alternative filters or alternative colors to match your image so I'm gonna go to tools shape make sure we're on linear go to tools color my color one I'm gonna make red and my color two I'm gonna make yellow like so and then I'm gonna to go to position with my finger I'm gonna pinch and turn this position and with these anchor points these little arrows I'm just gonna open them out a little bit so it extends the colored effect like so I'm gonna to go to blending mode now you can um, experiment with the blending modes if you like I quite like this hard light I quite like the multiply also I like the darken so I like a lot of these effects when you apply and all I'm doing is applying the um, duo color I think this is quite a nice effect with the lighten but what I'm what I'm going to do I'm going to use the multiply sorry not the multiply the hard light and just ramp it up a little bit and this is the effect that I'm looking for I'm happy with that I'm going to click the plus button um, I'm going to close that down I'm going to save out my image like so if you have any questions any problems or any points please um, leave them in the description below thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for your time have a great day bye